Treasure Lab has posted compatibility 100 test videos for ROG Ally and Lenovo Legion Go. Except for the compatibility part, this time we're going to make some other tests to check the detailed charging performance of Lenovo Legion Go. It adopts the AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor, which is the same as the ROG Ally. What we got adopts 16GB RAM and 512GB ROM. The original 65 Oz USB-C charger comes with a non-detachable cable. All specs in form are below the fixed simple prompts. Model is ADLX65UDGC2A. It supports input of 140 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, 1.8 amp. The Pure PD protocol can provide up to 65 watts upper power. The manufacturer is Delta. The Treasure Lab Power ZKM003C shows that the USB C supports PD3.0, PBS, and QC5 protocols. It also has 5 fixed PDLs of 5V, 9V, 15V, 3A, 20V, 3.25A, and 2 sets of PBS. The Legion Go runs Windows 11 and has an 8.8 inches display with 2.5K resolution. And the display can also switch between 144 and 60 hz The two controllers are detachable, they can be used for up to 11 hours without charging. We can see the cooling fan, ventilation, and a stand on the back. You can adjust the stand angle up or down to get the best viewing experience, and the adjustment range can be up to 120 degrees. The thickness of the fan is 9mm, the air inlet and the air outlet are on the back and at the top. With the cold front thermal technology, it can cool down quickly. In addition to the regular buttons, there are two USB 4 ports on the top and bottom. These two ports support 100W PD fast charging and 4K 120Hz video output. The Legion Go also has a built-in Legion space, allowing you to customize and quickly switch buttons. Next, let's take a look at its charging performance. The internal battery capacity is 49.2 watts hour. The real-time charging power can only reach about 20 volts, 2.75 amp, 55 watts with the original 65 watts PD charger. Move to the charging compatibility. It is not compatible with chargers that cannot support 15 and 20 volts. So some low-power chargers like 20 watts and 30 watts cannot charge it. But it is normal, many Windows devices also have this problem. Although it comes with a 65W charger, the maximum power reaches about 90W with third-party chargers, high-power power banks, and even outdoor power stations. Just like this. Next, we'll use the original charger to fully charge the Legion Go. The voltage is always around 20 volts. The charging curve can be divided into three parts. In the first part, the peak power stayed at 62 watts for the first 32 minutes. Then the power drops and rises slightly to 58 watts. The final part begins at 42 minutes, and the power slowly drops to almost zero. It takes one hour and 26 minutes to be fully charged. As we can see, the original charger can charge the Legion Go to 50% in 26 minutes, and it can reach 80% in 44 minutes, 100% in 1 hour and 26 minutes. The full charging time is normal, but the last 20% takes almost half of it. Next, we put it into a 25 degrees Celsius thermal tank throughout the temperature test, and recorded the highest temperature on the front and back after charging for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes. After 10 minutes of charging, the maximum temperature on the front is 31 degrees Celsius, and the back is 34.6 degrees Celsius. It can be seen that the ventilation areas on the top and back have higher temperatures. After 20 minutes of charging, the front temperature is 33.5 degrees Celsius, and the back is 38.9 degrees Celsius. The temperature rises significantly. After 30 minutes of charging, the front temperature is 34.9 degrees Celsius, and the back is 39.2 degrees Celsius. According to the full charging test, the power was maintained at around 62 watts at 20 minutes and 30 minutes, so the temperature increased slightly. We can know from the bar chart that the temperature increases with the charging time, and the back always has a higher temperature because of the cooling fan and ventilation. The maximum temperature on the back is 39.2 degrees Celsius, it is just a few degrees higher than your body temperature, which is acceptable. 
Well, that will be all the tests for the Legion Go. You can use a 100 watts PD charger with a 5M cable to get the fastest charging speed. But it cannot be charged by the chargers that do not have 15 and 20 volts. The charging speed of the first 80% impressed us, but the last 20% takes almost half of the full charging time. And the maximum temperature is a bit warmer than your body temperature and won't exceed 40 degrees Celsius. So we can hold it for a long time gaming. Okay, that's all for today's video. Please drop a like, leave your comments, and subscribe to us. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!